<laughs> okay, so with that, um, time check 640. This meeting is now called to order. So I will go through and take roll. Um, Karen Waters. Here. Brian Allen. I'm here. Alfredo Castillo. Here, sir. Thank you. Graham Zach. Here. Thank you. Sid Gold. Present. Thank you. Thomas Hartfield. Here. Thank you, sir. Raheem Kazi. Absent. Ralph Croy. Absent for the moment. Nathan Lee. I'm here. Thank you. Jason Lester. I am also here. Thank you, sir. Robert Moore, <clears throat> absent. Alvin Waters. Here. Thank you. And Oscar Jimenez, myself, present. So that gives us 10 for the moment. Um, we need 11 to make quorum. Well, we're not going to need a quorum until item E4, right? Let's see here. Uh, let me make sure he's not on attendees. He he's is not, not. Not yet. Okay. Um, yes, you, you're correct, Alfredo. Uh, E4, yeah. So we will move forward. Um, well, and um, who's. Asad, since you're present, joining us, thank you so much. Could you lead us on the Pledge of Allegiance? I think you're muted. Hold on. Let's see. There you go. Everybody, raise your hand. I pledge allegiance, allegiance to, to the, the flag, flag. To the flag. Of the United States of America, America. America. Our stands to the republic, republic for which it stands, one nation, nation under God, God indivisible, indivisible and just and just 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 Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Much appreciated. Okay. Now, um, so moving on to item B. And Lainey, I see your hand up, but uh, did you have a quick question or because we haven't gotten to public comment yet? Uh, um, my hand's not up. Are you sure? It, it has raised hand, but I don't have- Oh, hand. there's two, we have two. We have Lene okay. and Lainey on the same not, meeting. Not, oh, oh. Lainey Casper, sorry. <laughs> Lainey oh, sorry, okay. <laughs> Thought it was me. Lady Before Cass. you go there, Sid Sid is in attendees again. Why does he keep moving? Sid, why do you keep moving and around? And Ralph Croy is now on. He is an attendee. Right. Okay. okay. Yay! So Ralph, right, here we go. join us 643. Well, no, Sid's uh, or, excuse me, on Ralph. twice. He's once in the attendees. And, oh. That's okay. So, it's weird. Now he disappeared. Okay, so, so Alfredo, make a record that um, Ralph joined at 643, please. Do we find him for that or do we send him a, <laughs> an invoice for being late or what? You could. We'll take care of that later. Just, just, you know. Hi, Ralph. 643. Okay. It's on record. Good. Okay, Sid, are you back? Did I he is not back. Now he is. Now he is. Now he is. All right. Good grief, Charlie Brown. So did he okay. come back at 644? He left? Do I need to keep track of traffic? Or... Okay. So with that, then, we're going to move on to item B then. So now we do have quorum. Thank you, Ralph. Um, item B is uh, pretty much, are any participants in the meeting considered lobbyists? If so, please identify yourself. So any attendees, we have quite a bit, we have 10 people attending. This is a great number. Wow, okay. Um, I don't see any hands raised. So to raise your hand, by the way, you dial star nine. And if okay. you're on your computer, please hit reactions. If you have the updated version of, uh, please raise All your right. hand or hit reactions if you have the updated version of Zoom. Okay, so I see none. Okay, so let's move on then to um, item C, comments from Dunn Representative. Mr. Gibson, welcome. 
It's good to have you back again. And I need to talk to them. You're <laughs> always glad to be here. Um, can you guys hear me? Yes, yeah. we can. Uh, I know that's always annoying, but Zoom being good is necessary, especially in the day and age. Hi, everybody. This is Gibson Yambura. I am on my phone. Uh, you will not see my camera. I apologize for that this evening. Just want to update in regard to, uh, I do know that I've been helping one board member to do the training for Cornerstone. I know whenever it says it's expired, there's a, there's a, there's a two-step process that two uh, folks usually miss. And so I know that I'm helping one board member and we're not able to do it before this meeting. Um, but I'm always available to do a Zoom walkthrough because I need to show you where the down, where you make the request for any additional training that is expired. I know even some people, a lot of people figured it out, but I'm always willing to help that out. I just want to like give everybody an update that we've been continuing to work on the EVG hybrid, uh, virtual hybrid protocol. Uh, as you know, that's something that we've been working on, giving updates as to how it looks like, um, how we'll be working with a hybrid model. As you know, there were 21 neighborhood councils that were chosen uh, in regards to how we can work with them and help address each uh, and try to meet different needs for each neighborhood council all across LA. And this is just in order for us to come up with a more robust system as to how a hybrid model will look like. Um, and we've been working on the first and just kind of in accordance with AB 2449. In addition to that, um, our implicit bias training, agenda expression, gender identity pro uh, training program is almost complete. This will be in the Cornerstone platform. This is in regards to the requirement based off of council file 20-0990. This is the one that mandates uh, implicit bias training. And so it's something that we've been collaborating with our colleagues at the Civil and Human Rights Department in USC to build it out. It'll be in your cornerstone, it'll be in cornerstone and it will be bilingual as well, providing for Spanish speakers. And once it is complete, as we finish the program, we will make sure we can update everybody. I uh, just wanna let you know that we've also still been working on updating the CIS process, CIS portal. The CIS portal in which uh, we've been working internally to come up with a better way to visualize all the CISs that have been submitted. Um, I don't have an update if there's going to be a new CIS platform. At the moment, we're still using the same portal that we've been using, but we want to be able to visualize the data in a much more robust way. And that's something that um, we've been working on internally. So you will be able to see, you'll be able to see the, um, that coming soon. And it's going to be on our uh, data portal. Uh, on the website, so on our data tab, there's something that is going to be updated on the website. Other than that, I do know if there's going to be any additional updates, uh, it's going to be elections and outreach, and that uh, will be, be sent out shortly to all neighborhood councils. Uh, so please be on the lookout for that email. Other than that, I do not have any more updates for this evening. Thank you, Gibson. Um, do any board members have questions for Gibson? Okay, thank you, Gibson. Appreciate it. All right, uh, let's see. And the next representative from office, from an office, is um, Mirka. Ms. Martinez, welcome. From John Lee's office, you have the floor. Just, just unmute yourself. There you go. Thank you. Hello. Can you guys hear me? Yes, can. Thank you. Perfect. Hi everyone, my name is Marco Martinez. I am the deputy district director for council member John Lee, um, who represents the Northwest San Fernando Valley. I will start off with the three items that you guys want to be um, in the loop monthly. One, the first one, um, I'll start with Balboa, the sidewalk um, on Balboa by Norwood. Um, there's no update, as I mentioned previously, it's in the design phase, so that's going to be the update I'll have for some time. Um, secondly, the project along, um, for the sidewalks along Rinaldi, um, I got a little more in depth into that process, and um, there was a couple of changes in the department's um, uh, uh, staffing changes, but nonetheless, we have a deputy that's on top of it. Um, and is facilitate, facilitating the process. Um, so, you know, they're, they're communicating back and forth on what needs to be done um, to push the project forward. Um, and lastly, Bobo and Woodley, I assume this is the same issue that's on the agenda, um, but I have no update. The deputies that um, handle 
Department of Transportation and Public Safety are aware of it um, and they are in communications with the departments about the matter. Um, I want to thank everyone who attended conversations with council last month. I am glad that we were able to do all um, four conversations with council this year, as um, many of you may know, who have been um, following these uh, these meetings throughout the years. It's a tradition to have one quarterly. Um, due to COVID, we were you know, it was a little wonky and we couldn't fit four in for the past two years, um, but we've done, we did four. So thank you if you attended one or all, uh, we're hopeful to see new faces too. They're very informative. Um, I will go on to legislative matter. Uh, the council member introduced a motion asking LAPD um, and street lighting to report to council on the current strategies um, and strategies that are under consideration that addresses the city's effort to fortify and protect the street lighting network. Um, you know, as you may know, street uh, copper wire theft and lights being out is an issue um, in our district and citywide. Um, also, the council adopted an ordinance that provides fair work week employment standards to retail employment. Um, this will be in effect in, uh, at, in April of next year. So 2023, um, the ordinance requires employers to produce employee schedules two weeks in advance and provide predictability, uh, predictability pay for schedule changes among other provisions. Uh, the council also approved an ordinance amending the municipal code to prohibit new oil and gas extraction um, and making existing extractions activities um, non-conforming use in all zones. The ordinance will phase out all oil drilling activities in the city um, by immediately banning new oil and gas extraction and requiring the abandonment of existing wells after um, an amortization period. Um, for the anti-camping zones, a few more locations were added in our district, um, about six I would say, and then two of them probably within the boundaries of Granada Hills North or uh, close in proximity, that would be Balboa and Devonshire and Devonshire and Pettit. Um, talking about other events that we've had that uh, our tradition to CD12, we did have our annual educators round table. We had about a hundred um, school employees uh, that went well. We also had a um, seen and heard leadership summit uh, with student leaders from Lawrence Middle School and Chatsworth uh, Charter High. Um, it was held at Griffith Park Boys Camp and this workshop focuses on helping students tackle leadership challenges um, head on with commitment, collaboration and creativity at the core of the process. Um, and then as you all know, the holidays are here. so. A ton of events can be found in our newsletter from um, concerts to parades, to toy drives. Um, they're all in our newsletter. So please check that out at cd12.org. And should you have any questions, I am here. Our phone number is 818-882-1212. Thank you. Hey, Marka, um, any questions? I see Karen's hand. Karen, you have your hand up. Um... Uh, yes, thank you, Oscar. Sorry, everyone, my phone, my uh, system froze, so dialing in now. Uh, Mirka, um, I had an a, a, um, experience this afternoon. I was in the area of the Valley, West Valley Animal Shelter, and I went in to get uh, tags for my dog. And they told me that the person was out to lunch, and I would have to hang out for 50 minutes, well, um, 40 minutes because there was no one there. So if you could please communicate that, I mean, the hours, the, you know, the operating hours are, um, I believe it's nine to nine to five and there isn't anything about we're closed for lunch. So if you could please check that out, that would be very helpful. Will do, thank you for thank letting you. me know about that. Thank you. Anyone else? Um... Marika, for me, I thank you for giving us an update on those three items. Um, 
you mentioned the work on the sidewalk on Balboa. Um, what what is there? What's holding that up right now? Is that with the engineering department? I mean, can you give me a little more detail on that? The one um, where it's in design phase. Is that the the yes the sidewalk right there on Balboa and no wood is it? I believe. Yes, that's the one that's in design phase with um, engineering. Okay. Any any idea how long that typically takes? I don't know because um, I don't handle street sure. services. Um, okay. I would, you know, can give you an approximation for Rec and Park stuff, um, but I wouldn't know for street services. Um, okay. But I can check in with um, Jonathan Cotto or Kathy Terry. Yeah, uh, that would be that would be good information to have uh, for the next one, so that we can kind of keep an eye, you know, understand the timing of, of this work. Um, the other question I had for you, or not so much a question, but um, regarding the traffic situation, um, the third item that you updated us on, um, on Balboa and Woodley, I know that's an ongoing issue. Um, if you can, I don't know if you did, but when you have a moment to follow up with Hannah Lee, I did have a conversation with her um, after the meeting for the, the NC Council's the President's meeting. Um, and I also had a conversation with her last week. So we had talked about possibly getting together DWP, uh, Department of Transportation, and perhaps MWD, um, the organizations that are around there to see, uh, kind of do a, a walkthrough, if you will, of that area to see if there's anything that, that can be done. So anyway, just if you could follow up with her, that'd be great. And if you guys can get back to me on that, that would be helpful. Another question. Yes, Ralph. Um, on the Balboa near uh, where they're fixing the railing, are they going to put a, uh, a wall back there? Because it looks like there's very little room between the sidewalk and where the railing is supposed to be. I'm just wondering if they're going to put a, uh, a wall there. Um, I don't know. It's it's sitting with um, engineer right now in the design phase, but I'll ask that question to the deputies who handle uh, this matter. It almost seems like it needs a wall there because the, the place where they put the railing in, uh, there's virtually no dirt anymore. It's been washed away or something. Maybe that's I'm one sure. of the reasons why we're waiting so long. Could be. Can be, but Mirko, when you when she gets a designer more information, that'll be great if you can share that with us because that would probably answer some of these questions. So thank you, be, Mirko. It would be I nice, nice to know what they're doing. Well, when she gets once they figure it out, Ralph, I guess again she says they're working on that. So hopefully they can provide us some details soon. Okay, thank you. Okay. Um, I don't see any more hands, Mirko. Thank you so much. Appreciate your time. Um, let's see who's here. Also, we have uh, Renee McDade. I'm going to give you the floor. Um, you're here for the NC, the Neighborhood Council elections, I'm assuming. Put some water in for the faucet. Actually, um, I'm going to be speaking on it. Renee's here just um, to offer support, but I'm going to okay. give the report. Great. Um, Thank Renee's you, Lane. promoted on to bigger and better things, so I'm your person. Yeah, um, if I just if I may really quick, you know, sure. you guys were my NC in 2019, so I have a, a very um, affectionate heart for you all. So yes, Lene mm -hmm. is now your your um, EA, but I did want to at least say hello to everyone. I miss you all and thank you all for the hard work that you do. I know you volunteers, you don't get paid, um, but you make sure that you get things done in your community and for the city of Los Angeles. And I thank you all for that. And it's great seeing you all. Thank you, Renee. Thank you, Renee. And I right. wish you the best with your future endeavors. Thank you. Oh, no, she's still with us, but she's just higher and bigger places in our office. Yeah, yeah I'm, oh, I'm the excellent. supervisor moving, now. <laughs> moving on up. Excellent. She's yeah. Moving on up. Yes, yeah. that's right. So I'm still here. So, yeah. Right. Anything excellent. you guys need, let me know. Thank but, you, Renee. Yeah, Lene's here to assist you all. So thank you, guys. Yeah. Okay, Lene, take it away. Thank you so much. Hi, my name is Lene Basolto, and I am your election administrator for this election. Thank you so much for letting me um, 
with that. Oh, I think there's an echo. It's not me, right? Yeah, it's, I think it's Karen because she's- Sorry about that. Sorry sisters. about that. Um, so I just wanted to let you know a little bit about your election information for this upcoming cycle. Um, our budget was approved in order for us to have what we refer to as a hybrid election model, which provides traditional in-person voting along with the option to vote by mail for every neighborhood council, which we believe with this flexibility for stakeholders to vote at a polling place and or vote by mail, it's going to ensure maximum participation. Um, we're currently in the beginning of candidate filing for the early regions. Um, there was multiple requests to kind of change the order around. So we have switched that around. So um, NCs that went last are now going first. And so that has caused your election to kind of get pushed um, to a different time slot. So you guys are basically region two still. However, your election is going to be on Saturday, June the 10th. So you are um, a little bit towards the back, not the last, but you're farther down along, which gives you a lot more time to prep and plan. So I wanted to give you that information. So um, thank you so much to your team. They gave us your election information worksheet. So that provided us with information about your polling hours, as well as your um, desired polling location. I've been in contact with your group and um, we had a little bit of a challenge with your original first choice, they had a, an event book. So we moved on to your second choice. I promise that once we get that confirmed, I will send the board an email confirming all that information. So you have it in writing once we've secured that information. So I wanna make sure you're aware of that. Um, our website has been updated um, to give you, um, make it easier hopefully for finding candidate and voter resources as well as redesigned to a more mobile, digital friendly format. Um, our website is clerk.lacity.org forward slash NC elections. Um, so that we have access to find the information. Um, let me talk a little bit about your dates for your candidate filing. Um, so with the candidate filing, um, it will still remain, it's normally 45 days. The great news is your filing deadline falls on a holiday. So you actually are gonna have 46 days for your candidate filing. So you get a bonus day. Um, your filing period begins on um, Friday, February the 10th, and it ends on Tuesday, March the 28th. So um, once again, you're gonna have 46 days. A bonus day for filing. Um, our candidates can submit their application using an online portal or a paper application. The portal will be accessible to candidates 24 seven during this application period. Our office is preparing currently educational materials, including an instructional video to assist stakeholders with filing their candidate application. And that will be coming onto our website in the coming weeks. Um, we had some uh, requests in, uh, because our 20 in 2021, the filing deadline time was 5 p.m. We got some feedback about putting it back to the later hours. So we heard you and I'm happy to tell you that our office will move candidate and voter deadlines to 11.59 p.m. on deadline days. Um, however, just be aware that our staff will still only be available during regular office hours to assist candidates and voters but at least we got some extra time. I always encourage you not to wait till the last minute, but at least you got that those extra hours, of course. Now, let me just talk really quickly about the hybrid model. Um, the great news is stakeholders now have two options. This is the first time in a lot of years where they can um, vote in uh, two ways in the neighborhood council. To vote by mail, stakeholders may request a ballot using the online vote by mail portal or completing a paper application during uh, starting 60 days prior to the election day. So where that falls is uh, your filing period will begin April 11th and it will end on Monday, May 22nd. Um, the portal will be accessible for the, the uh, vote by mail applications to stakeholders 24 seven during this application period. Our office reviews every application to verify that the stakeholders meet the NC's requirements to receive a ballot based on your bylaws. Um, voting, uh, we will begin mailing ballots 35 days prior to election day. Um, vote by mail ballots should be returned by mail and must be postmarked by election day, which once again is Saturday, June 10th. 
Um, we are giving you prepaid um, envelopes for vote by mail. So we will be paying the postage on that. The, the voters do not have to pay the postage. Um, our ballots, the ballots must be postmarked by election day and received by our office up to 10 days after the election to be counted. So we have given you more days to, for the mail to get to us. So that's another positive. Um, anyone unable to submit a vote by mail application or who does not receive their ballot by election day will have the option to vote in person at your uh, polling place. Um, on election day, stakeholders can once again vote in person at the NC's assigned polling um, at, uh, polling location during the voting hours indicated on your election information worksheet. And that was 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. And uh, we are currently working on your second choice for a polling place, which is the O'Melveny Park. Uh, located on uh, Cessna Boulevard. So we are definitely trying to get that information. And I do want to be very clear. Um, we know that there's a Granada Hills North and a Granada Hills South. So please be aware that I am talking about Granada Hills North. So um, Granada Hills South has another neighborhood council. So if, if you're in Granada Hills South, we just want to make sure that you're aware that this is for the Granada Hills North stakeholders. Um, our election staff is going to be working as poll workers to administer voting. Um, our roster of stakeholders who voted by mail will be at each polling location to prevent any double voting. And I want to talk a little bit about the COVID requirements. Um, we all understand that this is very fluid and we get that this is a very, you know, touchy issue with everybody. So I want to give you the policies for the polling place. Um, in accordance with the current city policy, proof of vaccination or a negative COVID-19 test within the past 72 hours will be required to enter a polling place. Any voter who cannot provide the required COVID-19 documents will still be able to vote. However, we're gonna have to adjust the way we assist them and we'll help them curbside or outside. So if by some chance, once again, if we are in an outside location, then those won't matter. But if we have an inside location, and they don't have those, nobody gets turned away. We're just gonna adjust the way we help them. So I just wanna make sure it'll be curbside or we'll have some type of situation set up outside so that everybody gets to vote. Um, masks are strongly recommended. However, they're not gonna be required to enter the polling place, but I just wanna make sure you understand that we're not turning anybody away. Our, we're gonna adjust the way we do. And if there's a long time between now and June 10th. If everything goes away, and those uh, restrictions are lifted, then we will do the same. We will follow whatever the city policy is and we'll make sure that the website is updated, the board is informed, and that the polling location has all that information posted very clearly. So nobody will be confused about what's expected. So let me talk a little bit about post-election day. Our office will begin tallying ballots um, the next business day following the election, which can be observed in person or via an online streaming. Unofficial election results will be released approximately five days after the election. And official election results will be released approximately 13 days after the election. So I know I give you a lot of information, so I am available for questions. Please feel free to call our office at 213-978-0444. You can offer that number to your stakeholders. We have staff available to answer any questions. Remember, we're here to help you. So there are staff waiting to answer. If someone wants to find out whether they're in Granada Hills North or Granada Hills South, we are more than happy to, to find that out for you or show you how to find it out. Um, same thing with applications and vote by mail applications. If they need our assistance, we have the paper applications that we can help you with. Just know that we're here to assist you. So um, that's our um, information. If you have any questions, I know that was a lot to go over. Um, I'm here. Okay, thank you so much for that. Um, Karen, <clears throat> you have your hand up, you have a question? Yes, I wanted to introduce introduce Lene and Mirka. Uh, Mirka, um, Lene, Mirka is the person who assisted in securing O'Melveny information. So okay. you feel free to, and her, her name is on the email trail that we share. Right. Please feel free to communicate with each other. And I have one, one question regarding, um, sometimes we experience if by March 28th, we do not have uh, 
I'm sorry. <laughs> By March 28th, if we do not have, if we do not have an um, more candidates. Can, more uh, candidates, then you know, do when will you notify us that we wouldn't be having an election? We we will know once your uh, results, your candidates, or certified election results. So, uh, let's say you have all your candidates but no contested races then you would have what we call board affirmations. And of course, Gibson can speak on that process, but we would notify you then. Um, if let's say you have one contested race, at least one, then you're gonna have an election. Um, so I just wanna make sure that that you're clear on that. Um, but, you know, of course we will, it, that information obviously is 60 days prior to the election when we have the certified list of candidates, but we will make sure that you're aware of it. And I'm gonna be working with your uh, election committees. So, you know, once again, as we're going through, I'll have access to stats, you know, so Karen, you can always check in with me, um, sure. keep an eye on, you know, we can keep an eye on things as we get closer. So if we have to kind of do a little bit of a push, you know, we can kind of give you an idea of, you know, where there are uncontested seats or where we need to maybe do a little more recruiting. So, okay. Thank you. Well, to, to Thank you, Karen. Be there for you. Thank you to you and the team and you, hey, you uh, too, Ms. Mer Ren Renee. No problem. Any other questions? I do not see any more. Okay. Don't Thank worry you about so it. I, you have my number and you have access to the website. Karen has my email. Feel free to share it with the board. I will be working with her in the coming you know, months. So if you don't think about something today, just you know, drop me a line or drop me an email and, and we're here to help you. And the good thing is I have Renee to refer back to. She's got institutional knowledge. And so, you know, once again, we'll be working just to make sure. Okay. And once we're closer to your election, I'll be sending you a ballot voting model for you to review that will show you how we anticipate what seats are up for election and, you know, who can vote for those seats. So we want to be very clear. You'll have an opportunity to take a look at that and review it before we, we okay. finalize the ballot. So um, okay. we're looking forward to working with you and we're going to have an election this cycle. So let's, let's okay. do it. Okay. Right. Thank you so much. Thank you. All so right. Um, Good night, everybody. Good night. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. Let's see. Moving on. Um, I don't see any more government office officials. Okay. So with that, let's move on then to um, item E. So item E is public comment, and we're gonna make public comment on non-agenda items. Um, so anyone who's here, the attendees, if you have anything that you'd like to bring before the board that is not on this agenda, now is the time to raise your hand, um, dial asterisk nine. Okay. I don't see any hands, um, so then we will move on. Ralph, is that you raising your hand or is that your pen? Oh, sorry, okay. <laughs> All righty. Um, <clears throat> item F, the president. Um, just wanna remind everyone, um, Karen, thank you for sending that email out to, um, to the various offices within the city. Um, and other NCs to let them know that come December, for December, all the committee um, meetings um, are in recess. All right, this will be the last meeting for December. The January board meeting is also in recess. Okay, so the first meeting to start um, in the new year will be the um, Public Safety Committee. Okay, just want to just want to again remind everyone about that. And let's move on into item G, executive committee. Um, the first two things um, are really amazing, awesome. We've got John F. Kennedy, who, who for the first time, right, wins the CIF championship. So congratulations to them. Uh, we also wanna congratulate Granada Hills Charter High School on their CIF divisional championship as well. So we've got two high schools within um, our close proximity who are doing excellent. So congratulations to both of them. For what sports, sir? Sir, for what sports? That's a good question. Karen? Football. 
both. Okay, thank you. And Granada Charter actually advanced to the next to the state. Uh, that happened after the agenda was posted. So they, they went on. Kennedy didn't advance, but they still um, at least made it to CIF. I still didn't hear for what sports. Football. Football. What sport? Soccer. Football. It depends football. on what country you're soccer. from at this point. You want football, you want soccer. And I'm going to assume Granada fame? Yes. All right. You know, that's nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's move on. To so Island. they played at Dodger Stadium or Coliseum? No, for well, actually, um, Kennedy played at, at uh, San Gabriel. They it's played at, at Kennedy High School first and then at San Gabriel. It's a true question. Sorry. All right, let's move on. It was let's a move, on. move on. Because they were at Dodger Stadium. Thank you, Alfredo. Okay. Let's move on. <laughs> right. Um, All right. I agree, G3, appoint Palm Committee members. So we do need, um, right now, I believe we only have two on that committee. We need- We have one and more. we need two more. So, so. Is, if anyone is interested, please, please raise your hand, let us know. Um, and then once that committee is set- um, How many members do you need for that? Then it will be up to that committee to determine who that chair is going to be. We need two um, more. Two more. Jason and Alvin, we got. Jason and Alvin, is that you raising your hand to want to join the plump committee? Yes. I was. I was, I was just going to say that Alvin wants to join. <laughs> As does Jason. Okay. I see Jason's hand up. Thanks for yeah. reading my mind, Jason. You too, no, Jason. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm. Uh, I'm there with Alan. Okay. Beautiful. Perfect. Mission accomplished. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you, gentlemen. That was easy. You see, that was very Thank easy. Thank you. All right, now moving on to item G4. Motion to approve the following board meeting minutes. Alfredo, thank you so much for sending those out. I do hope that everyone had a chance to look them over, review them. Um, so this is, this is the time to... Um, I hope I should bring up, bring up any right issues. I, don't, I didn't see anything, but um, we will need a couple of adjustments because we had um, ineligible. So on the on these minutes, we will need um, uh, some uh, ineligible for the votes that were taken. Well, it's worse than that, Karen. Sorry, but we lost Thomas, so we no longer have quorum. Oh. Thomas just dropped off. Yep. Maybe he's coming back. Maybe he needs. I'm an optimist. <laughs> Someone has to be. <laughs> okay. He is gone. Were we able to reach out to him? Oscar, would you mind texting him to see if he'll if he can rejoin us or? Let me see about texting him. He just dropped off. Yeah, he's yeah. not here. Is he not in attendees either? No, or? he's not. He's not in attendees either. Thank you um, for all the attendees for your patience. So much for all those minutes I typed up. Dang. Well, it was about, I mean, no, thank you. I agree. <laughs> right uh, uh someone just dialed in who's that let's see i think gibson's on twice <laughs> or no now he's back again okay gibson's back sorry about that i was just switching devices that was my fault i apologize uh, you know? i don't see um Oh, I don't think he's coming back, guys. Ladies and gents, I should say. I apologize. Yeah. 
All right, so, fellas. Yeah. It was good seeing you guys today. I'll see you guys now, next month. Well, no, not next month. We're we're not. I'm gonna meet myself for a moment. Hold on. Okay. Um, see if I can get a hold of him. Okay. So while we wait, is what's everyone doing for the holidays? Anything interesting? Anything exciting? We haven't decorated yet. We're gonna start decorating this weekend. Gotta get a Christmas tree. Yeah, me too. Uh, let me see, what else? We have a nephew coming over from Oklahoma to visit. That's about it. Okay, Ralph? Yeah, yeah I can say that uh, I was in the Granada Hills uh, holiday parade. Oh, good. With my, with my 1923 uh, Ford. It's 99 years old now. Next year, it'll be 100. So it was a wonderful time. And uh, there were many people, even though we had a, I'll call it a misting rain. Mm -hmm. That's nice. Yeah. OK, everyone. So he is not answering. Um, so at this point, then, we do not have quorum, which means at this point, then, we have to we have to end the meeting. We can't move on to anything. Can't Must have been what action. Jason said. What's that? Must have been what Jason said. Because <laughs> he volunteered Alvin. Mm. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> so no longer yeah, so, we, we have no longer have quorum. No. So, um, at this point, at this point, then we do have to end the meeting. Um, to all those who attended the meeting, all the attendees on the call. I do, we do appreciate your time um, because I know you were here for one of the items. Um, what that means, just so that you know, for all the attendees, what that means is that this, the next meeting to which this item, who's, uh, let's mute. Who can we mute here? Uh, that was Alfredo. Yeah. All right, so to all those on the call, um, again, as I mentioned earlier, because we do have recess for all committees during December and the first board meeting that would normally take place on January also has been recessed. So, so with that, the next meeting to which this item um, would be on the agenda would be the February meeting. So um, I thank you all for your time. And I hope that once uh, this item does come up in February, you will attend as well, attend again. Oscar, if I may, uh, I'd like to suggest, because we do have a funding item on here that we need to submit the forms to the city. So we may, after the first of the year, want to hold a special meeting just to address the, um, the items we couldn't vote on. Um, everyone should be back by then. And so hopefully we'll, we could maybe take up those items, just a, just a brief meeting on those specific items. On um, the funding meeting? Oh, because we have this item and we, we have the, the item on the letter and then we have the funding for this for the shred event and um, we have the MER as well. Yeah, I wouldn't we worry about the MER. That can be okay. done whatever meeting. Okay. Um, if we, we're, if we we're not gonna get frozen because we didn't have quorum. Okay. I think I think the, the urgent one here is the uh, the funding for the shred event because of that's a February event, so that needs to right. get to the clerk's office, right? right with, with the media seat. The uh, event the event is after our our February meeting. The only problem we have is is filing a uh, event form with the city clerk, and I will talk to Marielle and see if. Uh, there's going to be an issue if we get that in late. Um, okay, we just don't I, want to hassle with it. We can, we can take that approach, Brian, but maybe um, the other would be to just have a special meeting, maybe the first week of January, um, just for this item. And then we can have everything else dealt with at the February meeting. Well, why don't you just, why don't we uh, just have our regular meeting then in January and call it, and not call it a special meeting, just a regular meeting and have a very short agenda. We don't have to put everything on the agenda. Well, that, that meeting's already been canceled. Well, we could do, be, oh, we could still be do a special meeting just for those, but we could do a special meeting just for the letter and the
funding only, which shouldn't take that long. So maybe the second week in January, we can just do something quick, literally for the letter and the voting, which should take about 30 minutes or less. What does everybody else think? I'm just throwing it out there since oh, Ralph's raising his hand. Ralph? Ralph? Yes, are we going to have comments from the members before we close the day? Well, we're not adjourning. Well, it's up to you, Oscar. We could do comment. Comments is, is fine. It doesn't take, um, it doesn't uh, require a vote or anything. So we could go through that. Um, so, all right, I let's do that. Comment. That's why I, why I asked the question. You have a comment? Okay, let's go through that. Um, so we can then adjourn this meeting since, since we can't do anything else. Let's see, where am I here? So I may make a comment then. Hold on, hold on. We're gonna go down the list. Uh, and here we can only make comments. So um, Brian, I'll start with you. Okay, I'll, I will uh, take the opportunity then to make a comment about the CAG. Uh, everyone should know that the CAG has been uh, decommissioned and all the CAG members were given a letter of recognition. And in my opinion, it is all BS, but they are, they have stopped, they've, they've eliminated the CAG and they are going to establish a CAB, C-A-B, uh, Community Advisory Board. So um, just know that. Okay, thank you, sir. Let's see, who do we have next? Treasurer report. Um, Plump Committee, I don't know that we have anyone. Karen, is that, are you on the Plump Committee? I am. Well, Maybe. well, now we're all, there's three of us now again, do, but yes. Do you have anything or we can just move um, on from there? No, everything is, we're, we'll, we'll be good till January. No, no information received and no, um, nothing happening at San Fernando Mission and Woodley. There's still a permit, a, a tie up with some permits. So at this point, we're okay. Um, and also, I attended the meeting for the Home Deep, the uh, World Airports did a, a seminar, a webinar about uh, the timeline. Apparently, that lease is up in 2026, but they're moving to try to market that location to get it closed sooner. So we should have some more updates. Um, the Plum Committee will meet and we'll have updates for you in February. Okay. Thank you. Um, emergency, that's Robert, so he's absent. Um, citywide issues committee, do you have any comment? I know there's no update. Um, Sid? Uh, no comment, sorry. Okay, thank you, sir. Um, outreach and publicity, Karen? Uh, thank you to, first and foremost, uh, shout out and thank you to Jason. Graham and Alvin for being an outstanding outreach and publicity committee. They're, they're just the best. So I appreciate you all and thank you. And thank you to everyone who participated on all the events this year. Um, we, we had, I mean, the street fair was a huge success as well as our shred event. So um, it was wonderful to see everyone in person and thank you to the board and everyone. And thank you, big shout to Brian for all of his assembly of the equipment and tearing it down and the whole team that helps to tear it down. That is not an easy task. Um, and he does it so effortlessly. So thank you, Brian, for being our hero. And thank you to everyone. Thank you, Karen. Um, Nathan, public safety. Uh, nothing for me. Thank you, Oscar. Nothing. Thank you, sir. Um, Brian, small business. There's nothing. Nothing. All right. Um, Faith-based representative, Ralph, that's you. Yes. Um, my comment is regarding the, um, the voting uh, where we say O'Melveny oh, Park. Uh, we at uh, Norwood Methodist Church have had voting at the church on occasion before. We have a, a new patio, so we have cover in case it rains or we have a lot of sun. We have toilet facilities, et cetera. And you don't have these facilities at O'Melveny Park. So I just wondered what the advantage is to put it at O'Melveny Park. 
Um, I think, we, Karen, I think it was because comment, of, so at, it's coming to mull over. Okay. It's something that we could revisit if we have to, but we already have two locations and those have already been um, communicated. Uh, but if something should change, Ralph, we know that we could, if that will reach out to you. So. Yeah, thank you, Ralph. I actually emailed you a response on that last month that, you know, we have everything underway at this point, but we do appreciate having an extra backup. So if we need that, we will be sure to let you know. Thank you. Well, I wonder what the advantage is of a Melvinian Park because there's no facility there. Okay, so we'll 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 meet on this next year. So let's move on. Yeah. Okay. Item. Let's see. Student represented. We don't have. Okay. So I'm just gonna do. Yes, that's it. I mean, board member announcements. That's pretty much what we did just now. Unless anyone has anything that they want to do or bring to the attention of the board. Thank you for being a fearless leader, Oscar. And thank you to, we still have a great, Bernard Hills North Neighborhood Council is a great neighborhood council. I mean, just we're professional, we collaborate. Sometimes even if we don't agree, we respectfully disagree without being disagreeable and without being disrespectful. So that we are a great, and we are recognized in the city for being an outstanding <coughs> council. So kudos to everyone. And thank you for all your hard work and, time and rest and relax and enjoy the holidays and you as well karen thank you for everything um and with that i then want to say thank you for to everyone it's been a great year enjoy your holidays um and then we will get back to um, the discussion of having a special meeting i will send out something on that and uh, we'll go from there Oscar, may I add something out of order? Yes, Asad. Yes, sir. Hi, everybody. Uh, good to see you. Uh, no, just a quick comment. I wasn't sure if I should have said it in the open comment area or within the CAG, but the Alicia Canyon monitoring system that's going up. So basically, my department in the Bureau of State Planning, we're approving all the attachment equipment, and it should be up and running before Christmas the permits and the stickers being issued tomorrow. And hopefully if the weather is friendly enough, installation will be complete next week. And of course the data will be available to, to everybody. Uh, and you know, you're affected in Granada Hills as much in Puerto Ranch. So this data will be live and uncensored and untapped with, and you could use it and utilize it and take care of it. So just wanted to share with you that it's almost ready. Thank you. Happy holidays. Thank, Thank you. I, I hate to I hate to break in and say this, Assad, but we were told that 30 more than 30 days ago. We were told that it was up and running, and it isn't up and running. That is that is not good news. What you just said is not good news. Ryan, the portion that was up and running, I think, is the residential. However, the one that is going on the streetlights, we received the application on Thursday with the fees and we processed it uh, quickly. And hopefully tomorrow I will have the sticker permits handy for the contractor. Who's I, I heard you, I heard you Asad. I'm sorry, I, I don't wanna make this into a conversation. Okay. I'm just uh, telling you that so, it was, so it was let's, wrong. Let's make it a comment. Thank you, Brian. We'll, we'll leave it at comment. Thank Brian, you. Thank you. I appreciate the input. So with that, um, again, everyone, thank you. Have a great holiday. And for all those who attended, um, again, um, I would expect that these items or some of these will be on the February board meeting agenda. So, um, and that is typically the first Tuesday of the month. All right. Thank you, everyone. This meeting is adjourned. It is 734. Bye, Thank everyone. Bye. Happy holidays. Night. Bye. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. Bye-bye.